Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we will be solving one very interesting question from rational equations for the real values of x. So let's get started by factoring our denominators. So we will begin with x square minus 9x plus 20 which we can write x square minus 4x minus 5x minus 4 minus 5 minus 9 plus 20. Now we will take x common here. So x minus 4 minus 5 common x minus 4. So our factorization will be x minus 4 times x minus 5. Now we will take x square minus 11x plus 30. And we will split minus 11x as minus 5x minus 6x. Then we have plus 30. From first two terms, x is looking common. x minus 5 in the bracket from last two minus 6 is common. We will retain the same bracket x minus 5. So our factorization would be x minus 5 times x minus 6. Now we will consider our third denominator x square minus 13x plus 42. So we will split minus 13x and write minus 6x minus 7x. Then we have plus 42. Now we will take x common from first two terms. We will be getting x minus 6 in the bracket. Minus 7 is again common. We will write x minus 6 once again. So our factorization would be x minus 6 times x minus 7. Now we will write our equation 1 over. We will write x minus 4 times x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 5 times x minus 6 plus 1 over x minus 6 times x minus 7 equal to 1. Now denominators cannot be 0. So we will write here our answer cannot be equal to 4, cannot be 5, cannot be 6, cannot be 7. Now we are going to write our numerator 1. In terms of denominator brackets, let me write here. First of all, I will like to write our equation. Now, 1 can be written as 5 minus 4. And then we will add x and subtract x. In denominator, we have x minus 4 times x minus 5. Similarly here, 1 can be written as 6 minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Then we will be adding x and subtracting x. Denominator is x minus 5 times x minus 6. Similarly here, we will write 1 as 7 minus 6. Then we will add x and subtract x. Denominator will be x minus 6 times x minus 7, RHS is 1. Now we can write x minus 4 and then we will put minus common and then in the bracket x minus 5, x minus 4 minus x plus 5. So plus x minus x will be over, 5 minus 4 will be 1. Denominator is x minus 4 times x minus 5 plus x minus 5 minus x minus 6 over x minus 5 times x minus 6 plus x minus 6 minus x minus 7 over x minus 6 times x minus 7. RHS is 1. Now we will split numerator with respect to denominator. So x minus 4 over x minus 4 times x minus 5. 
we will get 1 over x minus 5 minus x minus 5 over x minus 4 times x minus 5 we will write 1 over x minus 4 plus 1 over x minus 6 minus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 7 minus 1 over x minus 6 equal to 1. Now we will cancel the terms 1 over x minus 6 minus 1 over x minus 6. 1 over x minus 5 minus 1 over x minus 5. So we will get 1 over x minus 7 minus 1 over x minus 4 in the LHS. RHS is 1. Let's write here 1 over x minus 7 minus 1 over x minus 4. This would be our LHS. RHS is 1. Now we will take LCM. We will write here product of both the denominators x minus 4 times x minus 7. In the numerator we can write x minus 4 minus x minus 7 which is minus x plus 7 equal to 1. Now plus x minus x will be over. 7 minus 4 is 3. In the denominator we will write x minus 4 x minus 7. This would be 1. Now we will cross multiply and write x minus 4 times x minus 7 equal to 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Now we will expand our LHS. We will write x minus 4 times x minus 7 equal to 3 or x is square minus 7x minus 4x plus 28 equal to 3 or we will write x square minus 11x 28 minus 3 25 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation. We are going to use quadratic formula. So if I will write here value of a coefficient of x square value will be 1 b coefficient of x minus 11 c constant 25 we will write here x equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4 times ac over 2 times a so we will be writing here minus b minus of minus 11 11 plus minus square root of b square is minus 11 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 25 denominator is 2 times 1 so i can write 2 now minus 11 square is 121 and minus 4 times 1 times 25 is 100. So we will write here 11 plus minus square root of 121 minus 100 divided by 2. This is our x. 121 minus 100 is 21. We will write 11 plus minus square root of 21 over 2. So I can write our answers. X1 will be equal to 11 plus square root 21 over 2. And our second real solution would be X2 equal to 11 minus square root of 21 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.